I'm just about to chat with Gino and Sherry from Shelley Labs as they finish setting up for the Capital Audio Fest. At the time you're seeing this video, the Audio Fest will have just opened and you can go and check out everything that they've got to offer there on Friday, Saturday or Sunday and that's the 10th, 11th and 12th of November. But the reason I'm chatting to Gino is not just to advertise Capital Audio Fest, it's because he's got two very exciting new products, one you've probably heard of before, one you maybe haven't. And so let's have a chat to Gino and Sherry about the exciting, at least in my opinion, the very exciting new product they've got to share. I hope you enjoy. So this is the Capital Audio Fest in Capital Rockville, Audio Fest, okay. Maryland. We're in Rockville, Maryland. Yeah, we're in Rockville, Maryland, which is, a, I don't know, uh, 12, 13 hours from where we, we, we our shop is. So it's a little bit of a drive. Um, but yeah, we're okay. here. Uh, I don't know how many vendors. There's a decent uh, amount. There's probably. over 200. Over 200? Yeah, something like that. You know, it, it's it's big, man. Wow. This is, okay, that's a lot. You know, a lot of people here. They have a big mm. section, uh, kind of in the center of the hotel, where it has uh, like a bunch of, of like vendors that are selling records and CDs, which is also really cool. Yeah, like it, a marketplace in the middle. Yeah, it, it's you know, yeah, some right. of the other popular shows do that, which is actually really cool because you can always like pick up something like an odd CD or something. You know, something something you. you you always may have wanted, they'll have it. It's, it's pretty cool. Oh, that's awesome. And how long is it running for, Gino, for those that want to go along? Uh, Friday, Friday through Sunday. Yeah, Friday through Sunday. It starts at, what, 10? I think it's 10 to 5. We're going to say 10 to 6. I think it's 10 to 6. Oh. Uh, we'll, give you, we'll give you hours of 10 to 6. So it's, uh, yeah, it's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Cool. Um, you know, basically all day. <laughs> and it'll probably get pretty busy in here. Generally, it does. And it seems like it's their biggest show. Um, based on like how many people are here right now, it seems like it's their, one of their biggest shows. And um, I believe, based on our previous conversation and setting this up, that you've got something exciting to share with everyone going yeah. to the show this year, yeah? Yes, yes. So we will. Uh, I'm going to try to take the camera over <laughs> so we can show you. So our rooms, by the way, Lachlan, are very uh, colorful. And I'll kind of give you a zoom. So hopefully it doesn't make you like nauseous because anytime I see things like this, but you can kind of see LEDs everywhere. Yeah. Uh, purples. We always do the purple. So we have three rooms just so you know. So we oh, have three wow. rooms Great. this year and each one's a different theme. So we have one that's daytime in Florida, one that's sunset in Florida, one that's nighttime. So nice. uh, right now those two showrooms, cause it's, it's nighttime here. So those two showrooms are, are uh, locked up, but um, we'll, we'll get you some pictures. Um, the uh, yeah, the nighttime one's really cool. It has like a, like a starry night sky in it. And it's kind of like real dark blue and purple and it's our headphone room. So it's like okay. kind of appropriate for headphones. Absolutely. Then, I love uh, it. You're in the, uh, you're in the one that has the, um, you know, the sunset. So you can kind of, I don't know if you can kind of see, I'm doing terrible. I can see the orangey work. red tones there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very orangey and red. So it looks like it's kind of, you know, sunset in the evening. And then, uh, yeah, the daytime room is just very bright and, and daytime ish. <laughs> nice. So I'll show you the, the product, Sherry. You, Ooh, so, okay. So there you go. I know it's, let me go get that down a little bit. We're trying to give you the best angle with holding a laptop just so you know yeah no that's so, that's all good that's that looks brilliant so this is all uh chris o'neill let me see if i can get light on it. it might be better so it's this is uh chris o'neill's carving you can see the top of the case is all carved uh yeah that's spectacular so my, my dad made it it's walnut cherry uh and then chris o'neill carved it and i'm telling you like if you could like touch the it, it's awesome this guy did such a good job and so you can kind of see the face. Uh, this when this is when we sell these, this will be um, uh, either a stainless steel or aluminized, like a brushed aluminum face. Okay. Yep. Um, and uh, and you can see we we now have individual buttons. <laughs> so on this awesome. one, you know, in, in our like we told you before, our new ones will have individual buttons. Yeah. Um, you know, so you can just select everything. Uh, we have this, the 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 screen that everybody always asks us if we can put a screen. So it, the screen on the the other ones will probably be a little bit bigger and functional. So right now we just have a Gishelli logo on it. It it actually does display stuff if I have it like in a in a certain mode. I but, don't know if they can see but, the Gishelli. Yeah, saying. it's kind of hard. But for the show, we just have a Gishelli logo. Uh, yeah, no problem. Um, so if you can kind, I don't know if you'll be able to get behind it, but it will try to get you a behind shot. That'd of be the, amazing. 
<laughs> Sorry. This, is, this is the bit that, and if you can't get behind there, it's fine because we can still talk about it. This is the bit that really excites me is is what's going on at the back of the device. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah, as yeah. I said on, to you, when we, when we first spoke about it, the thing that I was saying to you was I'm so excited at the number of outputs you've got. Having yes. a DAC that can feed out to multiple okay. amplifiers for those of us yeah. that have speaker amps and headphone amps and all sorts of stuff. Look at that. So got two so, XLR outputs and two yes. four no, you've got four RCA outputs, don't you? Yep. That's four epic. RCAs. That's so cool. Then you got your Toslink A and B, your coax A and B, and then your Toslink and Coax outputs and your USB. And does that mean it's gonna work as a USB bridge? I didn't ask you this when we chatted recently. Um, so we're kind of testing that. I, I'm not like, I'm not going to guarantee that yet, uh, based on like weird kind of timings that happen. So we mm -hmm. are testing that, but I'm not a hundred percent sure we're going to implement that or not. So, so it's kind of like more, more if you just want to go like optical in or coaxial in and coaxial optical out. Is that the idea? Correct. If you want to chain them and things yep. like that, you know, so if you want to chain this with another DAC or something like that, you could do that. You know, we are looking into possibly like kind of, you know, cross pollinating the, the USB to the SPDIF, but there's like, so there could be some weird clocking and timing things that, that can get flaky with that. So, yeah, I can imagine. Um, so that's a maybe. So we got that. And then we also have the new, I'm gonna, again, sorry for the terrible camera work. Yeah, all good. <laughs> so this is our new Zufa here. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm excited to see this too. Here. So. This one here has the LED, uh, you know, the, the LED VU meter bar on it. Um, we have another one that has the VU meters, the, the analog ones with the dials on it. So we're not sure, we're, you know, we're, we're going to see like the reception on this one. Um, but, uh, you know, we may offer the LED version. It's kind of more of like an 80s look with that. I'm kind of digging it. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> uh yeah, let me see if I can actually, I think if I mute this, I think the, yeah, the pre should still, there we go. You can kind of see them dancing, you know, so they kind of look like that when they dance. Oh, I like um, that. I, I like, I like the way it's holding the peak, like the amount of time it's holding that peak before it drops away. Oh, That's yeah. really lovely. <laughs> you know, we moved everything, same thing, individual buttons now. So you don't have to select, yep. you know, sit there and tap the same button 70 times to get your inputs. Yeah. Um, and then the same thing, headphone amplifier, which is a base, you know, it's based on the Archel 25 XL circuitry, mm -hmm. um, your tone controls, and then your volume control, which is also a motorized pot with a remote control. So beautiful. You, know, you can sit back and make it work. Um, the back of this is going to unfortunately be impossible for me to like get this back here because of the wires. But so, so I, it, it's actually impossible because like the wires are like really wacky, well, but I can explain yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, what have we got think, going on? So in the back, we have the XLR ins and outs. Um, so you can, you know, use the XLR uh, output, you know, for preamp or whatever you want to do. And then it has, yep. uh, we have a subwoofer out. I'm just in my brain going across the back, but we have a subwoofer output, which we added based on feedback from the other shows. Um, the uh, you have a phono preamp stage and then a RCA input, but then there's a selector in the back that you can select. If you don't want to use the second input as a phono, you can just use it as another RCA. Oh, nice. So, Handy. You know what I mean? So it gives you like an extra one if you don't have a, a record player or anything like that. Yeah. Um, and then it utilizes the main, uh, the pre main loop in the back. So, you have to you'll have the RCA wires that connect the back so you can use this strictly as a preamp if you want to mm -hmm. and uh, you can also just use this as a power amp if you want to okay nice. um, you know uh, and I believe I'm again I'm going across the the thing and I believe that's it in the back so you know it's kind of standard you know your standard inputs outputs things like that and, um, and it's a it's a speaker amp as well yeah not just a not just a super duper preamp it's also got speaker outputs yes yes correct yeah. correct so cool. yeah it, it's a I'm sorry I should have said that it's a class AB hundred watt a channel cool nice um, very nice you know so we upped it so our our one that's been showing all last year was like a sixty five or something like that. Um, so we up this to a hundred watts. So this show will be the test for us. You know, we're going to, we're, we've been running it all day and just checking for heat and things again. So far it's been running awesome. awesome um, fantastic. It's running a pair of MoFi. Oh, and, right. and yeah, we're running a pair of MoFi source point tens right now. That's what we have in, in the, in the showroom. Beautiful. Um, 
which sound awesome. I love the speakers. Uh, but um, I think it's about it for what we're showing. I mean, we have our, our you know, our headphone room has all of our, our 25XL, our Archer 3s. We have yep. the 99s um, here. Uh, we have all the DAC chips here. All the DAC chips. Do we bring all okay. the DAC chips? We brought all the DAC chips, Sherry says. Oh, that's cool. So people can come and actually check out and hear all three for themselves if they want to, can they? Yes, sir. You can sit That's down right. and listen to them, and everybody can argue. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Hey, speaking That's of deck chips, we probably should we probably should reverse back to the Daisy for a minute. Um, and yes, I do sir. want to ask you the origins of the Daisy and the Zufa name, but we'll get to that in a second. Before we sure. do, it's worth probably mentioning the DAC chips running in the Daisy. Do you want to quickly talk about actually maybe the DAC chips and the output stage chips? Yes, sir. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm missing so many things, but yes, no, it, uh, good. All good. <laughs> So it's running a dual AK4499 um, E, what is it now? EXEQ, yeah, EX. the new one. Yeah. We'll just yep. do the new one. Paired um, up with the 4191, yeah? Correct, correct. So the same the same chips that are in the 4499 version of the J2, but we're running it in a dual mono mode. And then we run, we're running eight mono. And this particular one has OPA 1655s. So we're running eight of them in there, and it's also compatible with the Sparkos Pros. And I, you got to give me the model. You know all the model numbers of Opiums, but this is Sparkos oh, Pros. The Sparkos. I know that SS three six zero two is the regular. The I think it's the two, I was going to two five zero nine or two five ninety. Yeah, one of those Probably, two. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, yep. But it's compatible with those too, so you can run eight of those in it if you want to. Fantastic. Um, and uh, I'm trying to think what I'm missing. Yeah, I showed you all the bag. Uh, I mean, but that, that's the basics of, of the, of the you know, kind of the audio stage of it. Um, you know, we, we redesigned a, a lot of the, like, power supply things in there and stuff like that. Like, you know, we, 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 yeah, we went through a bunch of stuff like that, too. So. so it's a mains core to the back of the deck and then a oh, yeah, internal so pass we're still now running. No, no. So we're still going to run a DC supply to it. That's what Sherry's saying. I'm sorry. She, so she was saying something at the same time and then she made a mean face at me. But no, they, um, <laughs> they, uh, no. So it will run a, it's still going to run a 12 volt supply. Um, we have, we're going to have a different supply for this particular one, though. Um, a higher output supply, basically. Uh, it's not going to be the same one. So it won't, it, it'll be the same barrel, but it's not going to be the same supply that comes with the DAC. Um, so we're actually in the process of solving that right now. Mm -hmm. Um, but we're, we're not going to have a big toroid or, uh, yeah, no AC mains going into it. And strictly we're, we're doing it strictly for noise and, and, uh, okay. and, um, uh, essentially CE certification too. It makes it, uh, you know, a whole lot easier. Yeah. No, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> the naming of the Daisy and the Zufa, where do they come from? So the we'll start with the Daisy comes from our dog. So <laughs> our dog's <laughs> name is Daisy. So we're we're just running through the family. Um, nice. So the Daisy, uh, it's kind of D A Y Z E E. Um, but yeah, our our pup's name is Daisy, and so we felt she should get a product because she's awesome and mean. Nice. At the same time. I like it. I like it. <laughs> and what about the zoo for Gino? So the Zufa is uh, – that that amp is actually a collaboration between us and a company called Zuftech, which actually is a buddy of mine I used to work with ages ago. Um, we we kind of reunited in 2018, 2017, 2018, and uh, he does a lot of contract work with us now. He's a great guy. He was, he was a mentor of mine forever. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to – you know, we always talked about, you know, creating amplifiers, doing, you know – starting an audio company we always talked about it so this was kind of like you know homage. Uh, uh, yeah paying homage to to him and you know all the all the help and everything i mean jashelly jashelly was a uh, you know we we kind of wouldn't have started if it wasn't for like a lot of the you know conversation me and him had a long time ago nice. so um so he did uh about half of the of the design of it um mm -hmm. you know so we kind of split it down the middle but yeah he's okay genius guy <laughs> awesome oh that's really cool really cool <laughs> now i know you guys have been setting up all day and you've had yes, industry sir. gatherings and all sorts of stuff so you're probably wrecked and, I, and i'm also not wanting to cut <laughs> you off early is there anything else you want to talk about so i can let you guys go and get to bed i think that's it man bed's looking great you know <laughs> I'll bet. but no yeah we, all day all day yeah we so we we basically get one day to set up 
So you're we're like, it, it, yeah, we're on the sixth floor. She's right. We're on the sixth floor. You know, check us out. But yeah, we get all data set up. Uh, yeah. They they give you the keys at like eight thirty or something, and you have to like go at full speed. So uh, so yeah, okay. we're we're happy. Taking like three rooms at that time. That's huge. I should I should ask though the release mm-hmm. timing on these products. People are, are no doubt going to be saying, "When can I get one? When can I get one?" Right. Zufer and Daisy. When do you expect them to be available on the website? So I mean, want to answer. I mean, I can answer. Yeah, there's, okay, so there's always a Sherry's question. So Thank right you. now, based on the size, the wood, the, the different options. We're going to start off kind of slow rolling it where you would write in and we talk mm-hmm. about what you want. We're probably not going to put it on the website for a while till we see how it does. Yeah. Um, it's also going to take us a while to build. Um, so yeah, right. we'd rather have that discussion, you know, if you want this, it's going to be this long and then we'll go from there. So, but that's yeah. how we're going to start it. Yeah. So we, yeah, we, me gotcha. and her talked, you know, it, it was a long drive here. So we, we talked about the plan. Um, so essentially, like she said, you know, the, the early ones, and we kind of said this at other shows with the Zufa, um, the, the initial ones that we build, uh, we're going to work with the customers and their design. So, you know, mm-hmm. we're going to, they're, they're going to say, Hey, I want this kind of wood. I want it carved and we're going to slow roll it. We're definitely going to slow, slow roll because we don't want to get overwhelmed and, and, you know, rush making them out. We want to make them, you know right and get them you know to the right people that you know really want to that product and you know and they yeah. want to design it kind of how they want it so yeah. that's the idea initially um you know and from there once we get comfortable with production we'll probably step it up and you know it'll eventually end up on the site so okay cool so so in the short term it's it's an email through to to the regular yeah. info at jashelli.com or whatever the exact email address is i can't is it yes, info sir. Info but- com? yeah Yes, sir. So info at jashelli.com. And you could say, hey, man, I'm interested in the Zufa. I'm interested in the Daisy. And that's what we're going to, that's going to be the pitch during the show. Sure. Perfect. Perfect. That is exciting news. Very exciting news. Particularly, I'm interested and excited for both, but the DAC in particular, and you saw this when, so for those, obviously, uh, people watching this aren't going to know this, but um, Gino and I chatted offline about a week ago now. And, um, and when you showed me the DAC, Gino, you know, my eyes lit up. When I saw all those outputs on the back, I'm like, I need one of those DACs in my life. So I'm really, really excited for that. I can't wait to, to hear one. And obviously anyone that's that's anywhere near Maryland can go and, and actually check it out for themselves and, and be yes, some of the sir. first people in the world to hear it. That's exciting. Yes, sir. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, I'm going to be releasing this video Friday morning, your time. Um, okay. At the time this video comes out, people can can actually go and check it out pretty much immediately if they'd like to, um, and if not, they can head down there Saturday or Sunday as well. So that's yes, uh, hopefully going to bring lots of people knocking on your door to check out the new goodies. We hope so. <laughs> that's brilliant. Well, let me let you guys get to bed. I'm I'm conscious it's getting towards 11 p.m. your time. So thank you again <laughs> for the um, for the opportunity to have a chat and to, to see something so exciting and so new. And I hope the show goes really well for you. Awesome. Thank you, Lachlan. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Pleasure. Thanks, Gina. Thanks, Sherry. Good luck with the show. Take care, brother. See ya. Bye.